Welcome to this tutorial of a ProtoWizard class ring part. We're going to present this part as if it was a normal three-sided ring. So you would typically do your two-sided flip and then your rotary. What we're basically going to show here is the rotary operation itself because it's not just a rotary. We're going to select multi-sided cut, but we're going to tell it that we want to use the rotary position. Go ahead and select your tool, whichever tool you want to use. And we're going to tell it that uh, we're just going to leave uh, the, t the, the starting angle at top. And we're going to call this part top. Now it's going to show us our boundary around the top of this part, but we really don't want to do that. This part's circular, so we're going to kind of go to a circular boundary. And what I'm going to do is I can change this circular boundary so that it uh, more closely goes to the shape of what we want to see here. So let's just say we'll make it uh, 18 millimeters. 17 seems to be a little better. Okay, so now we've got 17 millimeters around this part, just looking straight down. But you can see we're going to go all the way through. So what we can do to eliminate that, you know, from doing that type of operation is to go ahead and say, uh, that that I want to use a blocking surface or I can raise the minimum Z up to a value such as 10 so that it brings it up just below the you know below the finger hole okay now if you're worried about it cutting over the edges over here then you would want to go ahead and reduce your diameter to you know something more appropriate that's going to give you a closer fit around the part. But you can see I just went a little too far because I'm not going to get my uh, my words are not going to be done right there. So let's go ahead and go back to 16. So you can play with this as much as you want. You can go ahead and make your your things more exact, you know, however you want to do that. And then you say, this is program number one. So now I've made a top-down cut on this part. What I'm going to do now is run multi-sided again, select whatever tool you want to use, but this time I'm going to say I want to start at a 90 degree starting angle. I want to do the rotary position, so it's going to tell me it's one-sided. I'm going to call this side 1, or you could say it's side 90. Now again, ProtoWizard lays it down on the side to show you that this ring is going to be rotated 90 degrees for you to do this cut. I can go ahead and select from the part geometry itself, or I can go ahead and say I want to do just uh, you know, circular or rectangular. So let's do a rectangular this time. Now I'm going to look straight down on the part to start out with. So what you can see here is that while we're looking straight down on this, um, we don't really care about cutting all the way down to the shank. So this is the plus Y side, this is the minus Y side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to, to my, uh, my plus Y, and I'm going to reduce that down to zero. So now I've effectively brought my cut down to there. If I didn't want to cut all the way out to the edges, I can either change minimum, maximum X, or I could just go over here and say I want to make this uh, 16 instead of 16.5 and you can see it reduces it evenly on both sides. More importantly, we don't want to be cutting all the way around this part and all the way through it and all the way down to it. So you may want to go ahead and do a couple things. One, put a blocking surface in there. And let's just say it's a it, this is a 20 millimeter diameter. Yep, it is. And that would stop it, but it's also going to try to go past the edges here. So I want to bring my minimum Z up to some value that's maybe just below this little lip right here. So let's just say it's at 2 millimeters. And that looks pretty acceptable. And we'll change it to 4. Okay, so now what you have here is you've got your cutting area a little more clearly defined. And you've got, 
your your cutting surface in here, your blocking surface, so that it's not going to try to cut down beyond the, the finger hole, cut out your core or anything like that. Now, if you didn't really want it to cut this area out in here, uh, which is, again, this is our, uh, this is over here in our minus y direction, you could come over here and change this, say minus uh, 14. And you could change your blocking area, you know, individually to get it more and more refined as to where you want to cut, where you didn't want to cut. Okay. And that's how you would set that one up. So now we're finished with that, the, the plus 90 side, and I'm going to still make this part of my program one. Okay, which is eventually going to be my rotary program. I'm going to do this again, selecting my tool, but this time I'm going to say my starting angle is minus 90. Oh, I just you know, I just made a mistake. All right, show you how to correct that. We'll go ahead and hit OK there and accept the operation just the way that it is. It's going to be back in program one, but I'm going to go and edit this real fast. Change it back to rotary position. And tell it that's minus 90 one-sided. So you can edit your operations anytime you want. You aren't stuck with it if you type in a wrong value. So look at this top view again here. Now our ring is over here on the plus side of Y. I'm still going to tell it it's rectangular. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see here, what are we going to do? We're going to change our minus Y. We're going to bring that up to about Y0. I'm going to go ahead and change my plus Y side down to about 15, just so I can, don't have to hit those letters. Let's make it 14 and a half. I'm going to turn on my blocking surface, set it 20 millimeters, and I can also change my minimum Z if I wanted to. Uh, we can go ahead and bring that up to about 4 or 5 millimeters like before. Okay, so now you have that cut. So now you're able to look at the, the cuts from, from both directions. And we'll hit OK. So we've edited that operation that originally didn't select uh, that I wanted to do it in the rotary position. And then finally, you might want to go ahead and do your full-blown rotary cut. Just like you normally would. Set your operations up to however you want. I know that this minimum diameter is 20, so I am going to change that and so on. And again, this is still program one, which is all of our rotary. So these are all of our rotary cuts. We're going to do a top-down cut, a plus 90, a minus 90, and then we're going to do a full rotary. So as we calculate these tool paths, which we're going to get is this is all one program. This is your rotary program. You're using the same tool for all four of these operations, and when it's all done, we're going to be able to get the detail that was projected, you know, straight down at the angles that, that we really wanted to work from. So as you'll see here, we're going to get all of those things combined all into one program. So now if we look at our top-down toolpath, you can see that all we have is our top-down operation. If we look at our 90-degree toolpath, you can see that our toolpath is over here cutting on this side. If we look at the minus 90 degree toolpath, we're over here on this side. Because it's rotated the part, you know, so that it's looking straight down on it, on these views. And then finally we have our rotary toolpath that you would normally see. And you could have uh, gone in and selected that to not cut past the edge of the part, only cut to the edge, because again this would have been uh, that type of uh, operation. Okay, so this is just the rotary part of what we do with a normal three-sided ring. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps.